major change is coming. For people who have been collecting unemployment benefits in Maryland, WMRT News' Megan Knight is live at the Inner Harbor with that story. Megan, the number of people who lost their job last year, just unprecedented, and many of them started collecting unemployment benefits for the first time in their lives. Now business owners have started pushing to get some of those workers back. Yeah, that's right, Christian. In fact, we have spoken to a few restaurant owners who believe that these unemployment benefits are partly to blame for the fact that they are having such a tough time filling the jobs that they didn't have last year, but now they have once again after all these COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted. And it's not just the hospitality industry that's having a tough time with this. It's construction, it's transportation, manufacturing. They all are reporting struggles with getting people to fill their jobs. In fact, the U.S. Department of Labor says that right now there are 8.1 million job openings across the country. And Governor Hogan says that's why he has now decided to end the enhanced pandemic federal unemployment benefits starting next month. That includes the extra $300 per week as well as assistance for the self-employed and gig workers that will also end. Also, the work search requirement that is being reinstated starting next month. So that means people receiving unemployment must prove each week that they are actively searching for a new job. That was something that was suspended uh, last year when the pandemic started because there were no new jobs to look for. Bill Ferguson, the state Senate president, does not agree with this move. He says Hogan should delay or reverse the decision, saying in a statement, quote, there have been many thoughtful decisions made by Governor Hogan during this pandemic. This is not one of them. This rash and rushed decision will hurt Marylanders who have been hit the hardest during the pandemic, having lost jobs through no fault of their own. These unemployment benefits are set to expire on July 3rd. The work search requirement that will begin the week of July 4th. We're live at the Inner Harbor. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News. Okay.